I cannot believe how much TV I've been watching lately. <laughs> Like, it's ridiculous. I have just been having a rough couple of months and where I would normally be, like, indulging in, like, reading, which is, like, my favorite. I have not literally had the brain capacity for it. And so I've just been kind of vegging in front of the TV, which is not my preferred. I feel sometimes, like, doing that drains me. But sometimes you just, you just can't do anything more than that. And that's okay. So I've been watching more TV than usual, but I'm starting to get back into my norm. There's absolutely nothing wrong with watching TV, but I usually have a healthy balance of watching TV, reading books, listening to music, going for walks, you know, I haven't really had that balance lately. So let's talk about some things that I've watched. Now, you know, it's been a while since I've recorded one of these videos, so I'm not going to mention everything I've watched since the last time I recorded one of these because I don't like doing long form videos. <laughs> Maybe that's one reason why my channel isn't bigger is because I don't do long form videos, but I just, if I'm going to do a long form video, it's not going to be about what I watch. Do you know what I'm saying? I got to come up with something special for that. Let's start with Netflix because why not? I remember one time I did this, I had to do one video that was all of the other streaming networks. And then I did one just for Netflix. Netflix is not where it used to be, but you know, it's still got some stuff on it that I like. So I'm literally just going to list a bunch of stuff and I might elaborate on some of it. Maybe not. I don't know. Some of this is stuff that's been out for a while and I like got caught up. Some of it has come out recently and I watched it. Doesn't really matter. Let's see. Samurai Rabbits, Lost in Space, Stranger Things, First Kill, Umbrella Academy, Instant Dream House, Morbius and Masters of the Universe. Um, He-Man and Masters of the Universe. So yeah, that's a lot of stuff, but I do want to talk about just a few of them. Number one, Morbius was not an awful movie. I don't know why people were hating on it. Is it a, is it a, is it a comic book accurate movie? Absolutely not. So maybe that's what the beef was, but I don't know you just can't please people I mean it was not the worst movie I've ever seen like I've seen some really awful movies Morbius was not awful again is it Oscar worthy absolutely not is it comic book accurate absolutely not is it a decent film yeah it is okay um instant dream home might be my new favorite series but I binge watched it so it's over and I have to wait to see if they get another season I really hope they get another season I love what is her name Girl, I can't even remember the host's name. Is it Danielle Brooks? That's it. I love her. She's great. She's been in a lot of stuff. She's like up and coming. I mean, she's already, I think, been established pretty well as like a Broadway entertainer, but she's making her way over into like Hollywood and stuff. I think she's on the Peacemaker series. Um, I only saw one episode of that. I keep meaning to go back and try it, but obviously, you know, life. And she is just I really like her so anyway I mean they go in and transform these people's homes in 24 hours and the crazy thing it's based off of a UK show that my husband and I watched my husband and I watched and we liked the UK show but of course you know we in the U.S. have to do things bigger and better because that's what we do in the U.S. but regardless I really like it hope they get another season um anything else on here really worth kind of diving into I've mentioned it before that He-Man and the Masters of the Universe, the kid series, not the one Kevin Smith did, but the kid series, it's really good. Like I am still impressed by it because we were not going to give that show like five minutes of our time. And one day we did, and we have not regretted it since. I hope they get to do another season. They, they just finished season three. So I don't know. Um, Samurai Rabbit, also very cute. I think they just released another series season. So I might check that out. Um, but again, if you're not into animation, none of this is going to appeal to you. Umbrella Academy. Um, they're doing some weird stuff with that. Now, this is one of those comic book series that I never read. I knew about it, obviously, before it came out, but I never read it. So I didn't. There, there are just some things that I'm like, if I didn't read it by now, I'm not going to. So if I'm going to watch the Netflix series, I'm just going to watch the Netflix series. I'm not going to go back and compare and all that jazz. 
So I have no idea if what they're doing is canon with the comic book in any way whatsoever, but it's crazy bonkers. We'll see what happens in the next season. And that was Netflix. Let's go to Hulu again. This is not everything. These are just the things that I've been watching lately. Some of this is stuff that I have rewatched. Like that's where I am right now, where I am rewatching stuff. Like my brain has just been so overloaded lately that I am rewatching stuff. So Struggle Mills, um, Reservation Dogs, Dragons, The Nine Realms, Abbott Elementary, High Fidelity, and The Good Doctor. So Again, not going to go into in depth about all of this kind of stuff. I'm going to touch on a few things. I'm going to start with The Good Doctor. This is one of those shows that people either love or hate, and for varying reasons. Um, I find that one reason that I've heard that people hate it is because it's a very specific um, representation of um, a person who's on the spectrum, but who also has, um, um, oh my goodness, why can I get savant syndrome? And so they're like, it's very dare-minded view of autism spectrum disorder. Fine. Um, there's another show I think that's on Prime. I haven't watched it. That's supposed to be like the opposite of that, where they have like these people with autism who are very extreme, like on the other end. And I personally feel that you just cannot please people. This, this is what it boils down to. <laughs> um, I feel like if they're making programming representing people on the spectrum right now, that's a good thing whether it's how you want them to be represented or not there are I, I don't know how it's possible but I run into people every day who have no idea what the autism spectrum disorder is and unfortunately in America people learn by watching tv so the more they release programs like this the, the more awareness um, people are going to have of the condition and so whether it's the representation you want or not at least it's out there you know so that's my spiel on that. Uh, reservation Dogs. I mean, Taika Watiki is bonkers bananas crazy. That, that show is good. I can't really go into any further explanation other than if you like weird stuff, check it out. <laughs> I mean, that, I mean, yeah, it, of course, it's one of those whole representation matters things because you're getting a glimpse into the life of um, living life on uh, a modern day reservation, you know, so it's not like these historically inaccurate accounts of, you know, Native people in, you know, headdresses living in teepees, um, their place and time where that was, you know, the reality, but that wasn't the reality for all Native Americans. And so um, to have a, a representation like this where they show, you know, different people. And I mean, I just, I really like it, um, I, but it, it is really weird. <laughs> I'm not going to say that it's not. So I love the fact that you get to have this view of indigenous culture that you don't normally get. And I'm all for it. Let's see, anything else on Hulu I want to elaborate on? Struggle Mills, the bomb. I just, there's nothing more to say about that. High fidelity, the bomb. Okay, let's move on to crime. Um, I did finally finish my um, Discovery of Witches series, even though that's technically on um, AMC, I believe, but I got it through Prime for like the seven day trial thing or whatever. Anyway, um, if you read the All Souls series and like that at all, definitely check out the TV series. They were pretty accurate to the book. I mean, I feel like they tried really hard. Of course, they couldn't do everything exactly right. They had to consolidate some things. I'm not going to nitpick. I mean, I'm not an idiot. I know exactly where they made the changes, but overall, I felt like they did the best they could, you know? I mean, it could have been way worse. Um, let's see here. Fat Tuesday is a great documentary if you um, are all into comedy, especially comedy featuring people of color. Um, it's a wonderful documentary. The Outcast, still in the process of watching that. Uh, finally watched No Time to Die. I mean, I guess if you're going to kill off James Bond, that's the way to do it. And if that's a spoiler for you, I don't really know what to say. Um, yeah. Uh, and then the 355, not as good as I thought it would be, but still not bad. I mean, I love the idea of what they were trying to do with it. Um, still, I don't know. I feel like it could have been better. I think the cast was amazing. The concept was pretty good, but I don't know. 
I don't know. I almost felt like they were trying too hard. There were moments where I was just like, yes, yes, yes. And then their moments were like, eh, mm, mm, you know. But either way, it was definitely worth watching. Um, Disney Plus. Again, I'm just going to go through the list. Again, some of this stuff is a rewatch. I mean, you know, Miss Marvel, DuckTales, She-Hulk, Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, the Groot shorts and the Bayamax shorts. Um, so let's see here. I don't think there was some other stuff that was worth mentioning, but honestly, if I can't remember it right now, you know, um, of course, people were hating on Miss Marvel because why not? She's female and she's a person of color. I don't think there's a whole lot I need to say about that. I enjoyed the Miss Marvel show. Um, I went back and rewatched the DuckTales, not the original DuckTales, but the remake DuckTales because I love DuckTales. <laughs> um, I'm very much enjoying She-Hulk, but the same thing. We're talking about a female um, comic book character, so people are going to hate on her because, you know, reality. Um, Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children is messed up. I don't, again, not really sure another way of describing that other than to say it's messed up. I guess if you read the book as a kid and you were like nostalgic and stuff, but I never read the book, so I just watched the movie. And I'm like, this is a Disney film? <laughs> I mean, um, like, I'm not going to give spoilers here, but um, the way that the Samuel L. Jackson character goes out at the end, I'm just like, um, this is a Disney film. <laughs> I don't think it was orig an original Disney release. I think it was one of those other studios that, like, Disney acquired. But still, it's on Disney+. Plus. Now, I know Disney Plus has that thing now where you can have, like, adult content or then just, like, regular stuff. And it's part of the regular stuff. Like, it's not part of the adult content. And I'm just like, what? <laughs> this movie is messed up. So anyway, um, not, not necessarily bad. Not necessarily good either. That's one of the ones where you kind of have to see it for yourself and decide. I am still undecided at this point. Um, the Groot shorts were cute. The Bam Max shorts were cuter. Um, don't get me wrong. I love me some Groot, you know. But I wanted more of the Bad Max shorts. When I finished watching the Groot shorts, I was like, yeah, those were nice. I liked it. Yeah. But the Bad Max shorts, I was like, I want more. Yeah. Okay. Um, HBO Max. Haven't spent a lot of time on HBO Max, you know, which is, you know, odd since I've been vegging so much. Um, we started watching Barry, which I don't know what it is about serial killers. You know, Dexter was my boy for the longest time. We're going to see how I do with Barry. Um, we did watch the Hellboy remake movie, and that was just a hot mess. Not really sure how else to describe that one either. So this is one where people like bashed it really bad, and um, I'm not going to completely disagree. I don't think the movie was trash. I really don't. There were some redeeming qualities to it. I have seen worse movies. So again, I feel like people are just too harsh. They have too high of expectations. With that said, though, this movie could have been way better. So, hot mess, um, good or bad, it's kind of up to you to decide. I definitely don't think it was good, but I also know that it wasn't the worst thing I've ever seen. There were some entertaining qualities to it. And then um, I did actually see a movie in the theater. <gasps> I know. I can't believe it. I saw Thor Love and Thunder. I've heard some people bash that movie as well. But again, it's like... What exactly were your expectations going into seeing that? Anytime I know a movie is either made by Taika Watiki or he's going to appear in it, I don't have really high expectations in terms of this seriousness of the content. Now, he might touch on some serious subject matter, but that dude's crazy. So I can't go into a movie with him in it thinking that it should be more serious than it is. It's going to be over the top and outrageous and hilarious and all that kind of stuff. And if that's not what you're into, then don't go see it. But don't go see it and complain that it wasn't serious enough. We are talking about comic book movies here. You know, even if they're doing a comic book movie about the Grim Reaper, you know, death, it's still comic book related. So it's okay if it's not that serious. Even if you're doing like something like Spawn, where it should be dark and serious and all, blah, blah, blah. but what I'm saying is, if it's not, it's okay. So anyway, that's what I've been watching. I'm sure there's some other stuff. Um, I'm all the time watching PBS, so that's just like a given. Um, 
I just have been watching way more TV than I should have. Clearly, you can tell by the state of this video that I've got too much on my mind. I need to clear some of this stuff out. <laughs> but, you know, sometimes you just got to do it. You got to just sit out and veg to cope with what's going on in the world. You know, um, there's a lot going on in the world, which I'm not going to get into in this video. But these are some of the things that I've watched. What did you think of some of the things? About, am I overestimating some things? Am I... Um, underestimating some things do you think I'm right on the spot what have you been watching is there something I need to check out am I missing something I'd love to know anyway you know what I always say stay safe be blessed next time guys